Oh, I'm very proud to know now that there's another guy in Philadelphia that pisses people off. Probably more than me. Okay? And it, see, he wears it like a merit badge like I do. And we're going to do something today with the Philly Godfather. We're going to play over or under with him. And we're going to do this. And by the way, this fall, I think we're going to do a lot with Philly Godfather, and he's going to have a show soon. That's to be announced. I'm probably laying an egg that I shouldn't be laying right now. But all that being said, let's bring our friend in, Philly Godfather. He joins us now. Hey, congratulations to you, man. I found a guy who's hated more in Philly than me. <laughs> uh, it hasn't been easy, but uh, I'm doing it this year. Last year they loved me, like I told you. Had the Eagles future at 30-1 to 1 this year. They hate my guts. I keep pumping out those Dallas futures. I just keep you know, stirring the pot, and they keep getting, you know, more pissed off at me. So it's uh, we're going to have fun this year. You think he's the MVP this year, huh? He's got a good shot. I mean, he's got a very good shot. That offensive is loaded. Uh, he's one of the best deep passers in the league. People don't know this. Uh, if you look at the uh, advanced metrics last year, I think he was like number three or number four uh, over 20 yards. He's been injured the last couple of years. The year he got really hurt was the year he was lighting up the league. People forget he was breaking all kinds of records. This year, I think he's finally uh, 100% healthy. Uh, he got rid of Zeke, so there's no turmoil in the locker room, uh, you know, at the running back position. So any headaches that came from there are gone. Uh, and like you said, they picked up Brandon Cooks. I mean, they still got land. They still, they're still loaded on offense. Uh, they're going to put a lot of yards and a lot of points. They added Stephon Gilmore in the corner position, so they improved there as well. Yeah, yeah. So they got a shutdown corner. Their defense last year, their defensive line, I think they had the fourth most amount of sacks in the league last year. Uh, one of the most injured teams in football, Dallas, the 13th most injured team in the NFL last season. So if they can stay healthy, they're going to make some noise in the NFC where, like I said, you got the Birds, you got the Cowboys, and San Fran, and then you drop off a little bit with Seattle and Detroit. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree. So I, I as I mentioned, I'm going to play a little over under with you here. Um, over under Jalen Hurts throws for 4K. Last year I had the over in his passing yards. Uh, this year I'm going to say under. I don't think their offense can stay as healthy as it was last year. If Lane Johnson goes down, we talked about this the other day. It's a nightmare. Um, AJ, Plus, how about this? Plus, they lose 1,300 yards rushing. You know, they've got a collection of backs that people, for whatever reason, they think they're going to be players. Even though some of these guys can't stay healthy, they think all of a sudden they're going to find, find the fountain of health in Philadelphia where they haven't been in their entire career. That's going to be something to look at if they can duplicate what they did with that backfield last year with those 1,300 yards rushing. Yeah, and, and they had a lot of extended drives. I mean, they converted so many fourth downs. The percentage was through the roof. I think the NFL, you know, the teams are going to look at that. They're going to slow that down. Uh, the average is right around 50%. They were at like 70%, which is a crazy number. Uh, Brown, the wide receiver, he kind of stayed healthy last year, but he's got a history of being banged up. So if he, you know, if you regress back to the norm with his history and he only plays seven or eight games, uh, those yards are going to – I would go under. Jalen Hurts, I would go under. Over or under 30 touchdowns, passes. Mm. 22 say, a year ago. Yeah, I would say under. So he's under 4K and he's under 30 TD passes. Is he elite? He's still pretty good. I don't know if he's elite. I mean, I didn't – you know, he looked great last year. But uh, anytime they played a team that ranked in the top 10 in sack percentage, uh, they split with Washington. They split with the Cowboys. They lost to the Chiefs. They beat the Colts by a point. So when you're playing against these teams that come after the quarterback, and if the Eagles' offensive line is a little unhealthy, he's not going to be the same. Will the Eagles, for the first time in franchise history, have a 100-catch wide receiver? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, so Devontae <laughs> and A.J. will not have – isn't that a crazy stat that the Eagles have never had a wide receiver – with 100 catches in a re respected season, even Terrell Owens. I mean, now he got hurt at the end of the year that one year, but still they've never had a 100-catch wide receiver in the history of the franchise. Well, I mean, think back. When's the last time they had that? You know, McNabb was pretty good, but he wasn't at that A-plus level. He's, they, the Eagles have really never had 
an A plus quarter. Well, I can't remember one. I mean, when's the last A plus quarterback they've had? But you don't think McNabb was a was a, was a franchise quarterback? He was good. He was. He had his moments. Uh, you know, in clutch situations, obviously not. Uh, but he he didn't really have too many wide receivers around him. I mean, when they got Owens, they lit it up. Uh, he was like, what was that? Deshaun Jackson. Yeah, you know he's you know he spreads the field, but I'm with you. you know, and there's only one Jackson. Deshaun Jackson in the world. I mean, you know how fast he is, but yeah. But I, I would make I would make McNabb like a B plus A minus type of quarterback. Okay. Eagles over under twelve wins. That's tough. I say under. Under 12 wins. NFC East got tough. And if the Cowboys got better, the Giants are going to be <laughs> pretty good. Washington, they're a wild card, but they got some talent on that team. Uh, Eagles schedule, number one schedule. They got a target on their back. Last year, they went 7-1 and one on the road, but the teams they faced had a combined record of like 52-80-4. and 80 and four. A bunch of bad teams. They barely beat the Colts by a point. They beat the Lions by three. They beat Arizona by three on the road. The Texans were playing them tough into the fourth quarter. They're not going 7-1 again on the road this year. Wow. Okay. Do they and, and, and this year, I'm What's sorry, and, and this year on the, they got an added road game, and they're playing four teams on the road this year that are favored to make the playoffs. It's a much tougher road schedule. Over under, the Eagles make it to the NFC title game. Hmm. If they can stay healthy, they can get there. But they're going to have to play Dallas, and they're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> 1980. Kept this time losing. Hey, okay. <laughs> Over under, the Eagles win the East. No, they're not winning the East. Nobody repeats. <laughs> Nobody repeats, Dan. You know, it's been 20 years. In the last 10 years, I think the Cowboys have won it four times. The Eagles have won it four times. They've been going back and forth. So they don't win the East. Okay. Um, over under, Eagles score 30 or more points. For what, in a game? Yeah, for a season. Thir over under, they score 30 points a game. Oh, last year average? Yeah. And what is it this year, 30 or 40? Last year I thought it was like 28-5 or something like that. And, and then, what, do you got, what do you got this year? 30. Uh, no. Under. Under. Uh, <laughs> they're going to really hate my guts and Philly, ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. They're not winning the East. Okay. <laughs> they're going to score less points. All right, all right, all right. How about this? The defense gives up 25 and a half over under they give up this year. Uh, 25 and a half. Points per game. I could see it under. I could see it under. They've still got a good defensive line. They've lost they lost uh they lost five starters on the defense, though. That's hard to replace, man. Five top tacklers. Yeah. And that's just hard. That's that's a lot of production on the defensive side of the ball. How about this? Let me throw this question out at you now. Um factor or no factor, the coordinators are the most inexperienced coordinators in the NFL. Yeah, definitely a factor. I mean, coaches are huge in the NFL. You know that. Um, but how good was the guy they're replacing on the defensive? I, you know, I'm not sure how good he was. Uh, game plan wise, you know, he was a little suspect. Uh, they exceeded all expectations last year with their pass rush. So, uh, yeah, coaches play a major role in the NFL. Absolutely. I want to ask you about a couple games now. The first game of the year against New England. So you're going to have um, Brian Johnson versus Bill Belichick in that first game versus arguably one of the greatest coordinators of all time. Um, and right now, from what I'm understanding, you helped me out on this. I think the point spread's five. Right. Do you think that game is a little bit more closer and will tell us a little bit more? about where the Eagle defense is? Because I think we all agree the Eagle offense is going to be pretty good this year. But does that tell us a little bit more on maybe some of the deficiencies? Because Belichick's going to expose weakness. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm actually hoping the game goes up to minus seven, and I'll take the Patriots plus seven. 
even though I think the Eagles win the game. Uh, the Patriots last year were ranked in the top 10 in sack percentage. So they're one of the type of teams that the Eagles had problems with last year when they were really good. This year, I don't think they're as good. So I think the Patriots can give them a little bit of a run for the money. I think the Eagles win that game by a field goal. It's going to be tough. you got a great coach in Belichick. Uh, Patriots got a little bit better. Their division's really stacked, so it's hard to really – gauge where they're going to end up at the end of the year. They're still going to be a good team, regardless of their win-loss record. They're going to give the Eagles a run for the money. Uh, at plus five, you know, I would wait, because I think the public's going to get involved and bet the Eagles. Everyone's enamored with this Eagles team. Uh, all the hype, all the media, uh, all, all the big guys on TV love the Eagles. So I think if that line can go up a little bit, even if it goes to six, I'll probably nibble a little bit on the Patriots at plus six. Get three teams I want to ask you over on the AFC side. Your take on the Chiefs, um, they upgraded um, some places on, on in the draft. They still, though, Godfather, they don't have a lot of skilled guys outside of Kelsey on that offense, but it didn't matter. Do they make it back to the AFC title game? Man, Mahomes is so good. He's so electrifying. He's just, you know, I mean. I think the Bengals are right there. Yeah, the Bengals are there. I mean, even with Aaron Rodgers, if if the Jets can tighten up that offensive line, the Jets are dangerous. You got the, the Chargers who got a lot better. There's their coach is a little suspect, and they got they got arguably the best quarterback in the league. And Justin Herbert, you got Herbert, you got Mahomes, you got Joe Burrow, who I love. Bengals are really good. I mean, the AFC is so stacked. Uh, but Andy Reid is so good. I mean, he's there. They're battle tested. There's nothing anyone's going to throw at Andy Reid or Mahomes at this point that's going to fool him. Uh, if they can stay healthy, they got a possibility. If I would have to bet it, I would say no. But I don't want to bet it, and that's the option I have as a sports better. I don't have to bet it, and I can just sit back and watch. All right, I'm going to take Mahomes out of this, and I'm going to ask you a couple of these questions. If you had to start your team with Jalen Hurts or Josh Allen, who are you taking? Josh Allen. <laughs> okay, hang on. If you had to start your football team with Jalen Hurts or Justin Herbert, who are you taking? <laughs> That's not even a question, Justin Herbert. <laughs> I think Tone is I think Tone has ended it. <laughs> oh, what did you say? Hey, Justin yeah. Herbert or Jalen Hurts? Herbert, by my I, Philadelphia's gonna really hate my guts. There. Hold on, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> hey, hold on, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts. I think, man, it's tough because Lamar could be injury prone moving forward. Uh, he's a smaller quarterback. Man, it's tough. I would take Hurts. Hurts over Lamar. Wow. Yeah, I would okay. take him. Listen, the, the year he was tearing up the league, the MVP season, I was the only guy in the world who was on Twitter saying the Ravens are not going to win one playoff game this year. They destroyed me all year. Then they go into playoffs and they don't win one playoff game. You know, you, the playoffs are, diff are a different animal for these teams. The, the field just, you know, the defenses get better. Um, I would take Hurts. I would take Hurts. Burrow? Or Hurts, if you're no, Burrow. 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 Okay, hold on. So we got Alan Herbert, Burrow. Hey, I'm not done yet with you. Hold on here. Rodgers or Hurts? At this point in his career? Right now. If you had to win a game this year, would you take Hurts or Rodgers? I mean, if you put Rodgers on that Eagles team last year, they win the Super Bowl. I'll give me Rodgers. Give me Rodgers. Give me Alan Rodgers. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'm not oh, wait. If you had to win a game this year, Dak or Hurts? That's pretty close. Uh this year I'll take Dak. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Oh my God. So right now we have Mahomes, Allen, Herbert, Burrow, Rogers, Dak, that you would take over Jalen right now. Is that correct? I told you he's a good quarterback. I don't know if he's elite. Okay. I don't think yeah. So you, you okay. Tua or Hurts? I like Hurts. <laughs> Why did that hurt though? <laughs> be, be, you know, I'm um, Wayne. 
Tua, if Tua gets hit the right way, he might never play again. Like, you know what I mean? But but I tell you what, he did show he can win. Oh, he, he had a good year last year. He he played he played <laughs> that Dolphins team is stacked. I mean, they played the the Bills tough in the play. I, that Dolphins team is tough this year. They're gonna they're gonna give people a run for the money, that Dolphins team. Okay. With Sean Payton, Russell Wilson, or Jalen Hurts. Is it Russell Wilson on the Broncos and Jalen Hurts on the Eagles? It's Russell Wilson this year with Sean Payton. Mm. That's tough. I'll take Hurts. <laughs> it looked like you flipped a coin there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just don't think those that offensive. Li- I, I don't think the offensive linemen on that Broncos team were too enamored with uh, Russell Wilson. <laughs> the last one for you here: Trevor Lawrence or Jalen Hurts? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Uh, I'll take Jalen Hurts. Okay. <laughs> if you had to have a coach for those teams, Doug Peterson or Nick Sirianni? Oh, Doug Peterson. <laughs> Right, close. <laughs> I love Doug and Tate. Let me tell you something. We waited so long for a Super Bowl. He brings it home. And then we uh, like we got rid of him. I'm just like Who has been the best coach of the last three? Sirianni all went to a Super Bowl. Sirianni, Doug, Andy. Oh, Andy's the best coach. I mean he's really Andy though. You know, a- a- Andy. <sighs> Andy took those Eagles teams uh, pretty far. And then when he got the right quarterback, I mean, let's be honest. The Patriots had Tom Brady all those years. You need that right quarterback. And Andy never had him in Philly. He had him with Kansas City. You know, you see what he's doing. I mean, uh, the best preparation coach, he knows how to build these teams the right way. Yeah, and it's Andy Reid, Hayes. Well, uh, people have just found a new way to piss everyone off. Get you on. <laughs> <laughs> See, I I thought Tone shut you off already, man. But hey, <laughs> hey, Philly Godfather, tell folks how they can find you too, man. Because I know that a lot of folks check you out. I see you all over the place too, all over platforms everywhere. Tell them how they can find you. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Philly Godfather. You can stop by the phillygodfather.com. That's my website. Uh, my kids fighting July 25th, Stephen Fulton in Japan against Inoue. If he wins this fight, he'll be declared pound for pound the best fighter in the world. 122-pound uh, kid. The kid's unreal. Uh, make sure you guys check him out. Absolutely will do that. Philly Godfather, thank you so much, my friend. Have a spectacular weekend. The dogs are barking. Good luck, guys. Boy, I see that. That's for sure, man. No question about it. Do me a favor, everyone. Hit the like button. Keep it here on the National Football Show.